Subway, now do milkshakes. Hello everyone and welcome to Food Review UK. My name is MJ and today we are reviewing the vanilla milkshake from Subway. Now, all of the information that you need is in this video. Uh, having a quick look at the look at the product. Yeah, it's quite white and um, not not creamy looking. It's it's white. It's brilliant white. And I have to say, I think this is probably just normal for real vanilla. I think. So saw a few days ago that shakes were out at Subway. I was very excited. They're available in vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry. So that's great. Sounds amazing. So I went down there today. They did have them. They're three pounds and ninety nine pence each. So they are expensive. They are very expensive. It's probably one of the more expensive items on the Subway menu in terms of you know it's not a massive milkshake. Now, um, uh, oh well, sorry. The next thing I want to mention is they do seem to have their own branded cup. So this is the vanilla branded cup. Um, so ordered it. And then I saw the uh, micro for real machine in the back. Now, if you've not had for real, uh, they are absolutely incredible. Like they are brilliant. So, if it is just a normal for real, this is no bad thing whatsoever. Um, the price point is a little higher than you than you might find in other places for for real, such as supermarkets. I think you can find them for probably two pounds fifty. Um, but three ninety nine, it's not horrifying. Uh, this is a very, th if it is just a for real one, it is a very filling product. Right, anyway, enough of this. I'm going to get into it and then I'll talk a little bit more about it. Oh my god. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Christ. I can't even. There's a little image on screen of the photo that I took in my subway branch. My local subway branch, I should say. Um, oh god. As you can see, I think the image there says like thick and creamy. So normally with for real, in fact if you're not familiar, here's a little bit of footage on screen of me when I've got for real. It's basically a self-serve machine. Um, you get the milkshake, which is pretty much just ice cream at the point that you buy it, um, from the cabinet, and you put it in this machine and you choose whether you want it thick, uh, normal or thin. Or I'm not sure exactly what the options are, but there's three levels. So you don't get the levels or the options with Subway. And like I said earlier, the machine, I wish I got a photo of the machine really, but I only saw sort of, the guy was standing in the way of it, obviously, because he was getting my drink. Um, so, he, he, sorry, he was standing in front of it. He wasn't standing in the way of it. That's his job. Um, anyway, he was standing in front of it, so I couldn't get a good look at it anyway. But it was very slim line, very slim line indeed. I guess probably all it does is just mixes it up um, without some of the theatrical elements that you sort of get if you were just getting it for real yourself. So I have reviewed for real on the channel. More specifically, I have reviewed the vanilla flavour for real, which is my favourite flavour for real. And they are absolutely... The vanilla ones are absolutely incredible. They are so, so good. It has this... Like ridiculously strong vanilla flavour, which I absolutely love. I think the best way to describe it is like French vanilla. If you've ever smelled the French vanilla Yankee candle, it's exactly that, but like more intense. It's very creamy. The slight difference with this one, actually, if there is any difference, the slight difference with this one is it's kind of aerated. It's quite light. I'm sure it's lighter than the for reals that I've had, which are normally a bit dense and heavy. Whereas this is thick, the texture is thick, don't get me wrong, but it feels a bit more aerated. So my one is melting a bit on top and then thick underneath. But yeah, it's so thick and so creamy. And like I say, that flavour of vanilla is so strong. It's so strong, it's insane. If you like vanilla things, I mean, you're guaranteed like this. Um, oh, in fact, look, you can actually see all the, the vanilla pods. Well, not all of them, you can see some of the vanilla pods on the bottom there. So, yeah. I think flavour-wise it is bang on to what for real was. 
like I say, there's a slight difference in texture there, so who knows if they have a different recipe for the Subway ones. I'd say probably not. Even from a logistics point of view, you wouldn't have expected so. I'm guessing they come into the store in the packs like this, because this is how kind of how they are from For Real Direct, just with For Real branding, and you basically rip off the foil. So I'm guessing Subway... Ah, the Doctor. Hello. I apologise for that guys, yeah, I've, um, if, you, if you've been watching the channel for a while you know I've got some problems with my hands, so just speaking to the doctor about that, it's, um, they think it may be car car carpal tunnel syndrome, is it? Um, which is annoying, very bad. But uh, anyway, uh, I can't remember where I got up to with this, um, yeah, for real. Oh, it's so good. Um, See, I reckon they probably just get them, get them in like that. Um, I think that the, the great thing that I love about this is that this is another step um, for for real. This is this like this must be a huge contract for for real, um, and it will really push them even further in the UK because they've. I think I encountered them maybe like 18 months ago, something like that. I think I first saw them at um, Alton Towers, I believe. But you see them in like some um, smaller ASDA stores, like the ASDA locals, is it? Uh, you see them in Asda's, you see them in other supermarket branches, um, and that, even convenience stores. I think there's a there's a convenience store in Aylesbury that's got them as well. So this is so good. Like it's this is such a great company. There's not many flavors. I think we have had a second release in the UK, which included like a latte frappuccino and a mango smoothie. But there are loads of flavors in America, including like birthday cake, and I think they've got mint chocolate chip as well. Uh, and loads of stuff. They, they've done some crazy, even Sour Patch Kids they did as well. So yeah, I am absolutely buzzing to see where For Real specifically goes next. And I think this is great for Subway. Yes, it is expensive, but some things taste so incredible that it's kind of easy to justify buying them. And this, I, it tastes so freaking good. It, I think it's the, easily the best like commercially available uh, milkshake. It's, it's six stars. <laughs> Oh god, it's just literally every sip makes you so happy if you're a big vanilla fan. Thank you for watching guys, click like, it does help us out, and listen to our podcast, Frock Unwrapped, it's very funny and very entertaining. Alright, we'll see you next time, cheers. <laughs>